Hello! I'll talk about iodine. A lot of us don't know much about iodine. But I've had chronic diseases, I ended up with Hashimoto's disease. Because when you have chronic diseases, it's as if you have an open door and you get a lot of different conditions of autoimmune problems that you have. So I have allergy to dust, I was born with allergy to dust and asthma. Then I've had eczema. Then I got now Hashimoto's disease, which had me having graves based on disease. Now, graves based on disease meant that is a problem of the hormone. The thyroid gland has a problem. It starts getting big, it starts getting funny, it starts, you know, itching and making you have feel as if you have a fever in the whole body. A terrible, terrible thing. So at one time I thought, oh, this item needs iodine. So let me check iodine. We need iodine in very, very small amounts. Because all of our all of our lives we really will just consume between three and five grams of iodine. So you can imagine. Iodine has been thought to not uh, be too important ex except for the thyroid gland. But further science and research has shown that it's not really like that. Iodine is required, of course, for the thyroid gland, then for the metabolism. The metabolism affects our whole bodies. So it's required iodine too for the heart, for the reproductive system, for the breast, the mammary glands, for the uterus, for the prostate in men. So iodine is so important in our bodies. It affects so many functions that it's like a conductor of an orchestra, you know, because it does myriad things in our bodies. We know the body is complicated. It has so many different functions. When you study it, you find that iodine is a most necessary conductor of an orchestra of our body functions. Absolutely important, vital. So anyway, I checked uh, about iodine to want to know it more. And you know, uh, when you check, when you go onto the website on the internet, what comes up first? The biggest internet sites that are very well established belong to the big pharma. They are the ones talking about every other thing. And after reading them some time, I thought that they are, and I've thought that again and again later, I thought that these big pharma are quite fighting quite a war against the natural remedies because they have a subtle, subtle ways of introducing uncertainty. So for example, when I read about iodine, they will talk of toxicity of the iodine, from where it's got from, it might be toxic a bit. And once you read that something will be toxic, of course you forget about it. Of course you, you put it aside. You, of course you feel that you, you don't have the capacity required, the knowledge required to just go through that, you know, that barrier of toxicity. I mean, you might leave it and think that it's for other people, more or less. It's a terrible thing. Then another thing which is even more scandalous this time for me is that then again I've seen with iodine would also suggest that you can take in too much, too much of it is dangerous. And I thought since when was anything natural dangerous? Iodine or vitamin C or you know mangoes, pawpaws, strawberries, if it's natural, our body will be able to eliminate the excess. Why would something natural be a risk, pose a risk to us, be pose a danger? You know, unless it's chemical. But I was reading about iodine for the natural thing of it. And they didn't say it's chemical either that can be too much. They just left it that way, that they just leave it that way, they just say. You know, there's that danger that it can be too much for the body. How? You know, so I felt that in a very subtle way, the big pharma has been trying to dissuade people from using natural remedies. You know, 
in a very hidden, subtle, subtle way that will be hard to really for you to think. But I've thought of it again and again and you know I get scandalized and annoyed whenever I think of it. Because meanwhile you go to the pharmacy, you are offered, uh, you're offered uh, things laced with chemicals which will never help you, which will never help you enough. Because many times it's one step in front, two steps backwards. Like in my case, I used antihistamines from the pharmacy, of course. I used antihistamines for over 15 years, was in the pharmacy every month to pick antihistamines. And I was not getting better, I was only getting worse. Worse and worse and worse. I was still, I feel myself going down the road. You know how surprised was I? I was also a little foolish to realize I see something called natural antihistamine. For example, quercetin is a very, very good source of natural antihistamine. Well, so anyway, I got using natural antihistamine and it came in a product, Vertera product. Vertera is a high quality health line, you know, with health supplements based on algae. So it has high quality iodine, natural iodine. Please see it in the link down here and get using it. So after I used Kercetin in the Vertera product for just one month, I was feeling so well, so normal. I got feeling so normal. My Hashimoto's problem actually uh, disappeared, you know. I would say I got healed after one more month two months now using this product, I felt so, so strong, so healthy. You know, even I had not been sleeping for the longest time, now I started sleeping. I could sleep 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, before it had been so difficult to sleep. So I was going through a vicious cycle, so much coffee in the afternoon because I had to work, you know, medicine which is, you know, a lot of this medicine is holding us hostage. Then it's a shame that even when we want to read about natural remedies, you get the Big Pharma website, which is very subtly trying to dissuade you of looking into this. So I would advise people to also talk to someone who uses natural therapies, you know, not just reading alone. Get also a good book, hopefully with time I'll get some good books on iodine and other things to recommend. Otherwise, we deserve to be healthy. We deserve to have true good knowledge about things. And if you ask me, I stand to be corrected. Natural iodine is just like natural vitamin C. If it's excess for the body, the body knows how to eliminate it. You know? So, well... You don't have to look any further for iodine. Check the link below. It has iodine, it has uh, Vectera products of iodine. They have natural quercetin, which is a natural antihistamine and immune booster. Then they have a lot of fiber. So in just one product, you have a lot of things. You know, Gut health, it's also a big detox. It has 28 vitamins and minerals minerals and it also boosts your immune system so it's a detox boosts your immune system nourishes you fully then again a lot of fiber good gut health so please get it in the link here Vertera products I'm so happy to have come across you and be healthy we deserve to be healthy <laughs>